Hello and welcome to the latest video in my series of stadium reviews where I review football stadia from the perspective of a photographer and today we're looking at Scunthorpe United's Glanford Park. It's a stadium I have always enjoyed visiting firstly as an away fan and then also as a photographer. It is quite a small ground, capacity of just over 9,000, built in 1988. Uh, it's currently known as the Sands Venue Stadium due to a sponsorship deal, but it is traditionally known as Glanford Park. It's a really, really easy stadium to reach. Uh, it is just off the A1017, and then if you get off that road onto the A18, you're practically at the stadium gates. Uh, just turn off onto Jack Brown Sword Way, past the McDonald's and the Costa, and the stewards will direct you from the stadium gates into your relevant car park. I got free parking, which is a thumbs up. And this is where, as I said, you get off that main A18 through that roundabout, straight over the second roundabout and into the stadium gate. I was directed to pay pre-booked media parking just by the iron bar here. So right when you're through the gates, but that second arrow does show you where you'll be um, otherwise. So parking, five out of five, it was free. It was close to the stadium, cannot complain. Now stadium access is something that is great at Scunthorpe, so this is a view from behind the main stand where the, the main reception players entrance is. The entrance is right here where the yellow arrow is for photographers and again this view just shows you it is behind this kind of metal staircase just right in the corner and it's dead easy because you go in these double doors right here and the guy standing on the right next to the arrow on the floor is going to give you your accreditation and then you're right at pitch side. It's so easy, so quick, all at one level. I fail to see how any stadium could be easier to get in as far as um, photographers are concerned. The accreditation is in the same place as the entrance, which is always nice. So five out of five, four Scunthorpe on that. Now, unfortunately, on my two or three visits, I think two visits as a photographer, uh, I've not kind of known of any Wi-Fi, any food or any drink for media or certainly for photographers. Uh, that might be a COVID thing, I don't know. Um, but for those reasons, I'm going to have to give it a zero out of five for each of those areas. So if you are traveling a distance uh, and you're kind of used to getting that at a stadium when you arrive, just be mindful that you might not hear at Scunthorpe. On to something else Scunthorpe does brilliantly at is the shooting positions. And this is kind of as a result of just how old and cool the stadium is, um, or probably the era it was built. So this is a wide angle of the stadium. You can see up the right hand side here, you've got a quite wide track. This is opposite side of the dugouts. You can sit on that track. Um, this video is gonna kind of pan up now and just show you the um, track behind the, away, the goal at the away end. So that on the right is the away end. Um, and photographers can sit on this really narrow gravel trap between the uh, grass and the stand, which I love. I love being that close to the action. There's no obstruction. Uh, and if you get a goal celebration down the end with the away fans, um, you're absolutely laughing. And it's pretty same the other end as well. So no complaints whatsoever as far as shooting positions are concerned. You're low, there's no obstruction, and you're dead close to the action. All positives from me, so it's a five out of five. So overall, it's going to be a 15 because of the no food, drink or Wi-Fi, parking, venue access and shooting positions are going to be hard to beat. Uh, it's just so easy and so straightforward and so convenient. So a final score of 15 out of 30 for Glanford Park.